For our read aloud today, I want to start Ready Freddy Homework Castles. Um, I've read a lot of Ready Freddy books, but I've never read this one. And it's pretty um, torn up and it has seen better days. So we talked about that. Um, that when books look like this, it usually means it's a pretty good book and a lot of kids have read it. So that's kind of why I picked this one out. Um, was because it looks like a lot of kids have read it and it's just one of the Ready Freddy books I haven't read yet. Um, what do you think the word hassle means? Have you heard of that before? He looks like he's kind of upset or nervous or scared or something. It must be about some homework that he has. So before we jump right in, um, let's try to think of some ways that we can get ready to read this book. A lot of times the author will put something on the back to kind of give us a heads up of what we're going to be reading about. So it says, uh-oh, it's time to do an animal report and Freddy isn't close to ready. Freddy Thresher, I think that's how you say his last name, doesn't mean to get in trouble. It's just that everyone in his class has a better idea than him, than he does for his animal report. He's supposed to study a nocturnal animal. Do you guys know what nocturnal means? So he's supposed to study a nocturnal animal. So wouldn't it be great to stay up all night and sneak outside with his best friend Robbie? But Freddy makes a huge mistake. He ends up getting his late night wish in a very unexpected way. Shark alert! Freddy Thresher is, first, is a first grader who knows lots about sharks. Don't miss Freddy's fun pages in the back of the book. We talked about that during our shared feedback time, but this author um, always has those little fun activities in the back of the book. Okay, and another way we can get ready to read is looking at the table of contents for the chapters. Um, so it'll maybe give us a heads up what's going to happen in the book. The assignment, that must be the report that he gets assigned. Hanging around, the plan. In the dark of the night, that must be when he and Robbie um, go outside at night to study a nocturnal animal. Is it broken? Not so bad after all. King of the world. The report. Help! Teddy bear underwear. That's kind of funny. I wonder if that's part of the book, teddy bear underwear. I wonder if that's part of the story, because that really doesn't make sense, does it? And then Freddy's fun pages, which we just talked about, is at the very back. All right, so let's read chapter one today. Um, this is what Freddy says. I have a problem, a really, really big problem. I hate doing homework and I have a report due next week. Let me tell you about it. That's kind of a cool way to start because when he says, let me tell you about it, I know that he's gonna be the one telling the story and telling you about his problem, which actually gets me excited to read. All right, chapter one, the assignment. Okay, class, said our teacher, Mrs. Wushy. Please listen carefully. I'm going to tell you about a very special homework assignment. The class groaned. That must mean the class was what, looking forward to it or not? I think you'll all really enjoy this assignment, Mrs. Wushy continued. Since we have been studying nocturnal animals, I thought it would be fun if you each chose a nocturnal animal to learn a little more about and then share what you've learned with the class. Oh, I want to do a bunny, said Chloe, wrinkling up her nose. They're so soft and cuddly and cute. Bunnies? Max snickered. You can't do a bunny, stupid, because bunnies are not nocturnal. Do you guys know what snickered means? Max, how many times have I told you to not use the word stupid, Mrs. Mushy asked. Sorry, he mumbled. But you are correct, said Mrs. Mushy. Bunnies are not nocturnal animals. Who remembers what nocturnal means? Robbie's hand shot up. Robbie is my best friend and he's really smart. He like He's like a walking encyclopedia of science. So if Robbie's hand shot up, that must mean that Robbie was really excited to share his answer. He must really know what that means and wants the teacher to call on him. So here's the teacher. This must be Robbie's hand who's shot up. This must be Chloe who wants to do bunnies. And then I'm guessing this must be Max, the one that was making fun of her. Pretty sure this is Freddy because it's a cover. All right. 
I wonder why their faces look like that. Maybe, oh, I have, a, I have a prediction. And I promise I haven't read this book, so I wonder if I'm right. I wonder if they have to be partners. And that's why they're like, looking like that all of a sudden. That would be funny. Yes, Robbie, can you please tell us what, a noctur what nocturnal means? If something is nocturnal, then it is awake at night and sleeps during the day. Humans are not nocturnal. We are dur durnal. That must mean that we are awake during the day. We like to sleep at night and we are awake during the day. Very good, Robbie. That's right. Nocturnal animals do all of their work at night. They eat, hunt, and play when it is dark. Ooh, that's scary, said Chloe. I'm glad it's n I'm not nocturnal. I'm scared of the dark, she said, pretending to shiver. Just then, Max, who was sitting right behind her, leaned over and shouted, Boo! Or not, it's probably more like, Boo! In her ear. Chloe jumped and screamed like a baby. Ah! Max was rolling around on the floor, laughing hysterically. Chloe stood up, pout pouting, hands on her hips, and whined. Did you see what he did, Mrs. Washy? I think he should get a timeout. Okay, I was wrong. They're not partners. This is actually Max saying boo in Chloe's ear. That's funny. Chloe, said Mrs. Washy, are you not you are not the teacher. I will take care of this. Max, you need to apologize to Chloe. Sorry I scared you, little baby, he said, still laughing. Alright, that's enough, Max. Please go sit in your chair over there. Max got up to go sit in the chair on the other side of the room, and Chloe smoothed her ruffles, smoothed her ruffled pink party dress and sat down on the rug. <laughs> there's Chloe, and there's Max. I don't know why she wears party dresses to school. She's such a, li such a little fancy pants. Okay, now where were we, Mrs. What she said with a sigh. Oh, yes. Does anyone know what animals they'd like to do? Robbie raised his hand. So it must be um, Freddie's best friend, Robbie, right there. I don't think we've met her yet. Uh, Freddie raised his hand. I want to do geckos because I have a leopard gecko named Violet at home. I could stay up late and study her. Yes, Jessie, said Mrs. Wushy. I'll do raccoons. My abuela calls them bandi, bandidos because they look like little robbers with their black masks. So why do you think the author made these words slanted like that? Has anyone ever heard of the word abuela before? My abuela calls them bandidos. So abuela is Spanish for grandma. And I'm guessing bandidos must be bandits. And her grandma calls them that because they look like robbers with their black masks. Okay, we just learned who that girl was. That's Jessie. Right here. Hey, that's what I want to do, Max called out from his chair. Well, said Mrs. Washy, maybe next time you'll be a better listener and you can pick first. But for this assignment, Jessie gets to do raccoons. Aw, that's not fair, Mrs. Washy, Max complained. Max, not another word from you. Other kids kept raising their hands. It seems as if everyone in the class had an idea, except me. That's probably why Freddy looks like that. He's probably bummed he doesn't have an idea. Freddy, said Mrs. Wushy, do you have any ideas? Nope. Well, you have time to think about it. Everyone will give a little report to the class next week. You might want also want to include some pictures of your animals. I wrote the assignment down on this paper, so make sure you show it to your parents. This is going to be so cool, Robbie whispered excitedly. Hold on. Was it Freddy or Robbie who didn't have an idea? Freddy didn't. Robbie's excited. Yeah, right, I whispered back. Maybe for you, Brainiac. Hey, do you want to bring Violet over tonight and we can stay up late and watch what she does at night? Are you kidding? Your mother would never let me bring up. Your mother would never let me bring a lizard into your house. Yeah, that's true. Well, you and I can stay up late anyway and see what it's like to be nocturnal. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Or, yeah, maybe. We'll even stay up all night, Robbie said. Now you're talking. I've never stayed up 
all night before. Great idea, I can't wait. So I'm gonna stay up to try to see what it's like to be nocturnal. Do you guys think they're gonna make it all night long? The next chapter is called Hanging Around. We'll read that tomorrow.